Okay, air signs. I couldn't use Lulu's room because she's sleeping and I needed to get stuff done today. So I figured this is gonna work. It's not the best lighting. It's not the best situation. You can see like all of my crap in the background, but this is how we're gonna do it today. So this is for air signs and we will start with Aquarius today. This is for after the eclipse that is happening on the 19th. Um, again, I don't think it, I, can you hear my chickens? <laughs> They're pretty loud today. I apologize. I think they're going to lay eggs uh, any minute now. So this is for Aquarius. What do you want Aquarius to know after the eclipse on the 19th? These messages are for after the eclipse. And I apologize. I didn't get the readings up yesterday um, as I had planned to, but uh, I wasn't really actually feeling that great. Uh, as the day went on, I kind of got worse. So I'm feeling better today and that's enough talking. What do you need Aquarius to know? Aquarius, you may have a um, Aries in your life, and if it's not an Aries, it is somebody who is sort of like definitely older than you. Um, it could be male or female, okay, because like that doesn't really count, though I am feeling like a masculine energy. This could be a father, this could be a lover, this could just be a good friend, somebody that you really admire, um, their, their opinion, and they are coming forward with a message for you, but it's a pretty like harsh message. Again, I don't think this person means anything negative. I think that what it is is maybe they, the way they come across could sound sort of hurtful or negative, but it's for your best interest. The message is going to be about something they think that you're failing at um, or, or not pursuing correctly. Um, there, Again, we don't know. This could be work-related, family-related, um, uh, even a love interest, and they just feel like you're doing, doing it the wrong way. And meaning <clears throat> maybe they feel like you're investing in the wrong areas or maybe they feel like you're approaching this in the wrong sort of way but again I really don't feel like they're purposely trying to upset you it's just the way that it's coming across this person's not a flexible person that's how you know who it is um, you may be kind of like irrationally jumping into something it could be like I said a relationship that you barely know this person it could be a uh, investment of some sort um, maybe like some sort of escape where you're running away and they feel like you need to you know sort of like stay focused um, so here's the good part. I do feel like you're going to take the advice of this person because it is showing that you're not actually moving forward with what it is that you you felt like. And I, the irony is it almost feels like some sort of relationship. Again, it could be work-related. Take it as it resonates. But it almost feels like you were trying to run away from a relationship because of um, sort of like holding back, like you weren't ready for what was being brought to the table. And this friend or lover, whoever it is, may come to you and be like, like, why are you fucking up again? Why are you self-sabotaging? Because it's definitely a self-sabotaging sort of energy, okay? So I do feel like after you listen to this person, you will, my favorite card, you will um, sort of move forward with a little more maybe appreciation, maybe um, better direction, better self of, better um, self-awareness. If, so this is kind of cool. Um, in a way, because once you move forward, the, uh, there could have been a situation with a lover that you really were like uncomfortable with, or you just weren't, it wasn't like an ideal situation for you. There is no reconciliation here, by the way. And with retrograde coming, this could be, uh, you know, a retrograde situation where this person comes back into your life and you're like, oh shit, like, what do I do? I don't actually see you doing anything, which is great. Um... This this wasn't your person, whoever this is. This was not your person. We have the four of wands in reverse. Like this person probably brought you a lot of um, insecurities. Even let's let's continue before I speak more. This could have been even somebody that you were engaged to, living with, um, plan plans to do those things. Yeah, your like unhealthy like sort of connection with them. Okay, so we have the devil here, where you felt like sort of tied to this person, but maybe like more of a trauma bond than it would be like a healthy relationship. 
And I do feel like you get over it. There comes a time, the three of wands, where you're like, okay, there's decisions that need to be made in the best interest of me. And then we have the sun, could be a Leo, um, could be a Capricorn. And, um, and it's sort of like you feel refreshed. You feel like back on track. You feel like yourself again. Um, watch because I do feel like there's two people coming towards you. One would could potentially be a lot, of, if not a water sign, somebody with a lot of water tendencies tends to be overly emotional. Um, could potentially have a drinking problem. Uh, I do feel like you're dropping this heavy burden of whatever was going on and you are open to other people. However, we also have the Knight of Pentacles here. Um, <laughs> the chickens. Um, but it, it, this one's in reverse. So what that's telling me is that the, the other person that comes in is not probably looking for a long-term relationship. They probably like are interested in you, but they're not necessarily fully committed. So, and again, maybe that's what you're looking for. Just It depends on what you're looking for really, right? You are going to take some time to yourself, and I feel like that's going to be the best situation that you possibly could um, invest in. Let me just tell you. You, whether or not you choose to have a relationship with somebody else, even jo like people are showing interest doesn't mean that you're necessarily going to go and, and be interested back or even want a relationship after what you've been through. However, it says when you take a time out, when you reevaluate, when you rethink, we have the Ten of Cups. Okay, so I feel like everything starts to fall into place and really go your way, which is interesting because in astrology right now, what they are saying is the fixed signs, which does have Aquarius in that grouping. Um, things are supposed to get easier for you once this um, retrograde, you know, shit works out. Um, wish I could remember every sign that it, I know Taurus is another one that things are just going to progressively get easier. So with that being said, I'm going to just tell you what's on the bottom of the deck and then I'm going to let it be because I feel like this was a clear enough message for you. Um, <clears throat> that water sign you may end up with, you may end up having a relationship down the road. I don't feel like it's something that's going to happen right away because I feel like you need to take some time for yourself and 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 figure out wh what direction you're going in but i still see the water sign on the bottom of the deck three cards down so obviously that is um you know something significant that's going to be coming into your life probably after retrograde so enjoy aquarius